Welcome to my YouTube channel. A small key with a tag attached labeled Storage A5. Maybe there's a self-storage facility in town. It looks a lot like the key I found in the attic. Maybe they're somehow related. Okay, there's a place in town. Got the address, I should head over there. The door is open by turning the key. Where is it? Was he trying to uncover something in these paintings? A bottle of paint thinner. This might come in handy. I don't believe this. They're ruined. He must have used that paint thinner on the paintings. That means there's only a single painting left. The one in the cabin. He must not have wanted anyone to learn the secrets of these paintings. All the paintings have been totally destroyed, except for the one remaining in the cabin. He must not have wanted anyone to learn the secrets of these paintings. The door is open by turning the key. Doesn't fit. Must... Storage A6. I can't open it without a key. No can do. These are tricky locks. I don't want to accidentally jam them. The door is open by turning the key. Aha! Just some old newspapers in those. Nothing useful. Empty. Found a tape in there. There's also something else. A custody appeal form. For me? July 15th, 1981? I don't believe it. He... He tried to get me back from my mom right to the very end. <laughs> 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 
Pull yourself together, Kathy. So that's where Grandpa's old uniform went. I wondered why I didn't see it in the attic. I can't open it without a key. A bottle of paint thinner. A warning label that says it's flammable. Gotta be careful. This should be able to do some damage. That action doesn't seem productive. I don't see how those things work together. Standard microtape labeled Operation Log Number 4. It should play fine in Mr. Dicto. I don't see how those... Operation Log, Part 4. August 8th, 1981. The area appears to be circular with... ...along the outer perimeter. I've determined that some kind of endothermic reaction is taking place. So it's important to be observant of changes in temperature. Find the source by severing the link. Perhaps I can save them. Jimmy and all the others. Reoccurring dream. I'm standing in front of a huge black hole in a clearing in the woods. There's a man dressed in red urging me to jump. I'm afraid to, but I take the plunge anyway. For some reason, I don't think I have anything to lose. As I'm falling, I reach for the parachute cord, but to my horror, there's nothing there. That's when I wake up. This is Joseph Rain. Operation Log, Part 4. August 8th, 1981. The area appears to be certain. Nah, no need to record any. No can do. These are tricky. I can't open it without a key. That action doesn't seem... Any change? Sadly not, dear.
55 degrees. Not too chilly, thankfully. I'll just borrow this for a while. It's an early painting by Lily Myers. Sorry, Sue. A hidden picture! Oh my god! That's Nathan! He's holding a girl underwater. It must be Lily. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Lily wrote a suicide note, so either she planned this or foresaw it. I don't see how those things work. Nathan? Yes? I know about Lily, Nathan. I like Lily. Nathan? Tell me what happened the day Lily died. I don't know. It's okay, Nathan. I'm a friend. I know the Red Man, too. You... you do? Yes. He told me to ask you about what happened to Lily. He said that you would tell me the truth, because you are honest. You're honest, aren't you, Nathan? Lily was angry that time. Angry and sad. Mostly angry. Angry with you? Angry with everybody. Mama was asleep, Papa too. Okay, what happened next? Lily wanted to go down to the lake. She told me to hold her under the water for a while. She said I had to. She had painted it and everything she painted was supposed to happen. I, I didn't want to, but Lily said she would tell Mama that I was bad if I didn't. But... The Red Man says it was an accident, and that Lily is in a better place. It's okay, Nathan. Lily was sick. It's not anyone's fault. When did you first meet the Red Man? I don't know. I, I see him in the woods sometimes. He and Lily always fought. They did? Uh, about what? He wanted Lily to take her medicine. What kind of medicine? Pills to make her less sad and angry? I don't know. Just medicine. But you know what? It's okay. I still talk to her all the time. You talk to Lily? And she talks back? Yes. Take me to her, Nathan. Take me to Lily. You promise not to tell Mama? I won't. I promise. Take me there. Okay. See? <sighs> Get away from them, Nathan. They're dangerous. <laughs> no, they're nice. Look! Maybe they can't affect him for some reason. Poor little Mender met her end. Witnessed so much she could not comprehend. Claimed by the lake, she screamed to her god, struggled for air as she twisted and clawed. But all was in vain, and her cries went unheard. Twas a heartbreaking theater of the absurd. <coughs> there, there, you're being dramatic. No pain, no gain. At least that color looks good on you. Astute observation, Bill. This room does hold the key. Well then, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Jesus! Nathan? How long was I out?
William T. Price. A hidden safe. There's also a poem here written by Father Bill. I copied it to my notepad. I'm sure there's a hidden meaning in this, but I think I'm missing something in order to make sense of it. I'm sure there's a hidden I'm sure there's a hidden meaning in this, but I think I'm an electronic safe with a numeric keypad. I could always try guessing. Most people use numbers they can relate to, like important dates to them. Six digit code. Good to know. I don't think I need to measure any temperature there. Yes! Found a bunch of torn out Bible pages and a tape in there. Any change? Sadly not, dear. I found these in the church. Do they mean anything to you, Grandma? I'm not sure, dear. Is there anything in particular you'd like to ask me about them? Maybe. I'll let you know if I think of anything. I don't see how those things work together. I don't need to show her that now.
I have more things to say to you. Speak what you will. Who is the Crimson One? No one that concerns the likes of you. Wait, so you do know something about him? Certainly, but that knowledge is not to be shared with unbelievers. Look what I found in the church, Isaac. Come to gloat, have you? I see that you've added stealing to your list of sins. Honestly, I just want to understand. What does it all mean? The mending? I don't believe you're sincere for a second. I will speak of this no longer. What is your church really about, Isaac? What are you trying to accomplish? The same as any other church. All we want is the salvation of mankind. By any means necessary? Clearly kidnapping isn't out of the question. Unnecessary evil. I look at the bigger picture, the greater good. One day you'll understand. You are quite obviously brainwashed. I'll stop you, if it's the last thing I do. You can try, child. I have God on my side. Why did you destroy Lily's paintings? Is that what you think I did? They looked pretty ruined to me. Like an ignorant child, you look only to the surface and not on what lies hidden beneath. Are you implying that the paintings contain some hidden message? Oh yes, Lily was special in God's eyes. A chronicler, a bestower of wisdom. As an emissary of God, it is my duty to unlock the divine knowledge in her work for all of mankind. I don't need to show that to him. Listen to this, Isaac. This is William T. Price. My what vision is this? concerning my sons are troubling. I've watched them become corrupted with pride, turning their backs on our prophet, the Crimson One. I've seen the history of the church wiped clean, replaced with trickery and lies. This message is part of a fail say. I don't believe it. Father saw all of this coming. God, have I strayed from the faith? It's not too late to redeem yourself, Isaac. I've met the Crimson One. We're on the same side. Preposterous. No one has witnessed that apostate since Father's death. I've been north of the lake, but he's nowhere to be found. He abandoned us all, and the divine work now rests upon my shoulders. You believe that you are carrying out the work of the Crimson One? Don't think I can't hear that mocking tone of yours. I will speak of this no longer. He mentioned north of the lake. That's part of Conwell Woods. I'll probably have to narrow it down more, but it's something. Father. Have you abandoned me? I will atone for my sins, I swear it. God have mercy on me.
My God, what is this place? Met her end. Someone left this message here for me. Met her end. Someone left this message here for me. A huge hole with no visible bottom. What's that? I can see something. Faintly. It's the red scythe flower. Must be hundreds of them here. So much for being endangered. Intense. Oh, they're making me a bit dizzy. Greetings! You again. Me again. You better have some answers, Crimson One. All in due time. Your friend is being claimed by the darkness. She's standing on the brink of the abyss as we speak. Are you talking about Eileen? Yes. If you wish to save her, you must descend. Why? What is down there? The tribulation. The reflection of the soul. We call it... The Mending. Who's we? My kind, servants of the old god. To what end do you serve this god? What does your kind actually want? All we want is for you to take your medicine, Kathy. For you to grow and be happy. If that's the case, why were all those people hurt? Lily? Jimmy? Grandpa? You misunderstand. What one wants and what one is able to do are two different things. Happiness is not a one-way street. It cannot be given, only earned. Your grandfather understood that. He embraced it. Wait, you saw Grandpa? Oh yes, right here. He was a tortured soul, desperate for some kind of meaning after losing the light of his life. You. He sought the power below, the vessel of redemption. But Grandpa didn't make it. He failed. How could I succeed when he wasn't able to? He was so much stronger than me, so much braver. Is that what you believe? Perhaps you don't know him as well as you think. But why me? Why are you making me do this? Because you so desperately need it, Kathy. You're haunted by your past, by all these painful memories long forgotten. They follow you like a shadow, pulling you down. They taint your every thought, impulse, and deep desire. It is foul to us. This is crazy. I could just walk away, get on my bike and drive, forget I was ever here. There's nothing stopping you. Eileen. I can't leave her like that. I see now why he speaks so highly of you. Surreal. It looks like grandma's, but different. Hey, where'd all my things go? My pockets are empty. The door is sealed by two thick chains attached with padlocks. An old elevator. I don't see any way to open it. 
gears are moving behind the window. Am I inside some huge, bizarre machine? A small desk lamp. I can see something inside. The paintings resemble TV static. Guess the reception down here isn't too good. No dial tone. Looks like Grandpa and Eileen have both signed already. August 81, yesterday and today. The dates all match. August 81, August 8, August 80, August 80. Grandpa's name, Grandpa's name, Grandpa's name. Looks like gran looks like grandpa and I The paintings resemble guess the reception The door is sealed by two thick chains attached with padlocks The door is sealed by two thick chains the door is... The door is... There are two padlocks here. One requires a key, the other is a combination lock. The door is sealed. The door is sealed by two thick chains attached with a padlock. It's one of the chains which used to seal the door. This padlock might be useful. Looks like, looks like Grandpa and I. August 81, Grandpa's, Grandpa's name, my name, and Eileen's name are listed here. I don't see how those things... It's one of the chains. I don't think I need to use the chain itself for anything right now. A single padlock remains, but it needs a key. An old elevator. An old. Gears are moving.
no dial tone. A sturdy iron pad. This should be pretty hard to break. A small desk lamp. I can see something inside. There was a pen hidden inside. It's an old fashioned pen. Plenty of ink inside. It's fairly sharp. Might have some other uses apart from writing. What the? You're not supposed to be here. Who are you? You look just like me. I should ask you the same thing, imposter. Do you like what we did to mom? Don't you just want to kill her sometimes? I know I do. You're a complete lunatic, aren't you? Takes one to know one. Now, I'd love to stay and chat, doppelganger, but I have more important things to do. Ta ta. The elevator is open. A jukebox. Broken by the looks of it. Nothing is lit up. More gears grinding away. Something about them makes me uneasy. I don't even want to think about what happened there. Oh my god. Mom? You're here? It's mom! She's being held up against the wall by something sticky! I have to get her loose, somehow. Was she always here? Is this the cause of her illness? Mom, can you hear me? <sighs> Don't worry, I'll find a way to get you out of here. There's some blood on this wall. It's too tough. I might need something sharp to get it open. No use. It's not sharp enough. There was a scalpel hidden inside the wall. Got it. A razor-sharp surgical scalpel. Either a useful tool or a deadly weapon. There you go, Mom. Are you okay? No! God. That 
That won't help. I had no choice. I had to put you away. You started hurting yourself. You started hurting me. I forgive you. <laughs> oh God, get me out of this place. Looks like a postcard is lying here on the floor. You killed Mom. That wasn't Mom, it was some kind of monster. We're all monsters to you, aren't we? Kill her, Dad. No, it can't be. Who's your daddy now, bitch? I've been angry with you for as long as I can remember. I've hated you, more than words can say. I will never forgive you, Dad, but I'm done being angry. I'm done with letting you have an impact on my life. That thing looks alive. More gears grinding. Nothing in this place appears to be tuned. A small casket is placed in the middle of the cage. The chain looks broken there. The chain looks broke. Looks like the crank is connected to a mechanism for raising the cage. No use. The chain is broken. I'll need to fix it first. That should work. A small casket is placed. Doesn't open, but I can see a keyhole. I don't see how the... A small... No use. I'll need a key. I don't see how those things... Looks like the...
No use. I'll need a key. That combination makes no sense. go. The body is gone. Nothing else in there. Refrigerator magnets in the shape of Scrabble tiles. The score values are off, though. I remember because the game I played with E the other day. Hoax in jar. An inkier heart. Rule me nemesis. Not sure what to make of it all. Refrigerator magnets in the shape the score valve hopes in not sure. There's a weird scarab thing in there. Got it. Indentations from spikes on the cage. It's the red scarab I found in the refrigerator. When I shake it, I can hear something moving inside. It has a hard shell. I'll need something heavy to break it. There was a key hidden inside the scarab. It's the small key that I found inside the scarab. There's a keychain attached with a red heart followed by Ma. Guess somebody loves their mom. I don't want to see. Do you see? Yes, kid, I see. Do you know who I am now? I don't like this. I want to go home. You'll never go home. We won't let you. When you threw me away, this place took me in, nurtured me. Do you regret what you did? I just couldn't repeat the mistake my parents made. I couldn't bear to put a child through life in a broken, damaged family like I was. You're just here to test me, to try and break me. Good. The heart must be pure. This is a fleeting moment, but I've seen what comes ahead. Who are you? The dweller in the lake. The 
can't do it. Lily? I feel like I know her, but something cracks inside. I don't understand any of this. What do you want from me? Only what you want from yourself. Nothing more, nothing less. We are nearing the end. He is ready to see you now. Who is? You know who, Kathy. A single padlock remains, but it needs a key. That combination... I don't think I need to use the chain itself for anything right now. It's one of the chains which used to seal the door. A single padlock remains, but it needs a key. Looks like the crank is connected to a mech... The casket is... It's one of the chains which used to seal the door. Okay, now what to do with the actual chain? Maybe I should figure out what I want to attach to the other end before trying to extend the chain. I don't see why I should do that right now. Maybe if I had something to attach to the end. I don't need to lock that. Maybe I should figure out what I want. The chain is attached to the elevator. Maybe I should figure That action doesn't seem... I don't see how those things work together. That combination... I don't see why I should do that right now. I don't see how... It's an old-fashioned... I don't need to...
All right, we should be good to go. Both chains have been removed from the door. Both chains have both chains have both chains both chains have That action doesn't seem I don't see how those You you have ruined everything. Why do you hate us so much? What did we ever do to you? You again. I'm getting sick of your bullshit. And I'm not afraid anymore. I see you for what you are. You are nothing but a fearful little child and there's nowhere left for you to hide. Now get the hell out of my way. No! You look a bit pale. No, I'm the original! I am! This can't be happening! I'm speechless. That's a first. No. It can't be. Grandpa! It's so good to see you, Kathy. Is it really you? You've been here for all this time? It hasn't been that long from my point of view. You look exactly the same. You haven't aged at all. But how is this even possible? You're, you're dead. We buried you. You don't have to worry about that now, Kathy. I've missed you, Grandpa. I wanted to come back so many times. I know you did. I've been watching you every step of the way. I found out how you tried to get me back from Mom and everything. I just wanted you to be safe. I wanted what's best for you. Can I get you out of here somehow? I don't know how all this works. I'm afraid that's not possible. I chose to remain here. So we could meet one last time. But I just got you back. I can't bear to lose you again. You don't need me, Kathy. You never did. You're stronger than you'll ever know. I'm so proud of the woman that you've become. This... this is so unfair. This fucking sucks. I know, darling. I know. But why are you here then? Is it just another test? No, the tests are over, Kathy. I'm breaking all the rules just by being here. We have worked so hard to make this happen. You can end the cycle, stop the suffering. This whole place needs to be ripped away, separated. That red fiend has no intention of letting your friend go. The only way to save her is to destroy this place. What do I have to do? You have to finish what I started. Ascend and burn them all. Yes, the red ones above feed this place. Make them lick the flames. Hurry, now before he sees us. Wait! Don't go! I need to go back up. I need to get out of here. The only way out of here.
Ugh, my head. It's like the worst hangover ever. I need to stay focused. Burn them all, Kathy. Burn them all. It's too humid. The lighter alone won't be able to ignite them. That should be enough. Major forest fire raging in Conwell Woods. The cause of the blaze has yet to be determined. But the latest reports say that the fire has been successfully contained. Largely thanks to the local lake, which provided ample water for the dowsing efforts. Over to you, Mark. Oh, thank goodness you're all right. You're back. We were worried about you. Oh, thank God it actually worked. Are you okay, E? I think so, but I feel a bit different. Yeah? You were out for a long time. Do you remember anything? I think Isaac drugged me. I started feeling dizzy and weak. He carried me into the woods. I remember hearing the wind in the leaves and the biting cold. There was a weird, sharp smell in the air, too. I'm not sure what happened next. Things are a bit blurry, but I had a strange dream with a shimmering girl watching over me. It felt like she kept me safe somehow. Then I woke up on this couch. It must have been your guardian angel. I think so too. Well, I'm glad you're okay, E. Things looked scary there for a bit. Yeah, Mary Elizabeth told me what happened, how you found me and got Isaac arrested. Yes, about that poor man. The sheriff called. Something happened while you were away. Welcome home, son. Guess he finally grew a conscience. I can't help but feel bad for him, despite what he did to me. In a way, he was a victim too. At least we stopped him from hurting any more people. So, I guess this really is goodbye. A stupid part of me thought that if I would find the truth, I could be close to him again. It's not stupid. We all look for love in the strangest of places. It's an inseparable part of human nature. Jeez, when did you become so philosophical, E? I told you, I feel different. Yeah, me too. Do you think any of it was real? I don't know, E, but I hope we managed to stop it, once and for all. You know, despite everything, I think we made a half-decent team. Really? You do? Well, except for the part where you got yourself kidnapped. Try not to do that next time, okay? Wait, there'll be a next time?
Subscribe now. Do it. Yes you. You right there.